Hey everybody, Josh Matagor here. If you don't already know me, I've helped thousands of people break into IT and cybersecurity. That's what my channel is all about. And today I'll be answering this viewer's question. He left this question on a video where I'm talking about vulnerability management. That's just a, a part of cybersecurity, right? I was a vulnerability management program manager in a few of my past jobs. Basically they ask, I'm just getting into vulnerability management and cybersecurity with Qualys. Qualys is like a vendor who has a vulnerability management platform. I have a couple of questions that I appreciate answers to. How long do you think it will take for me to finish um, the total vulnerability management course in order to get a job? Also, how long does it take to get a job in vulnerability management? Anyone, please and thanks. So the first part of the question, like how long it take to finish the course, um, he's just talking about the free, I think he's talking about the free course that Qualys offers on vulnerability management. They have like a, a whole bunch of different courses um, on it. And I, I heard that that actual course doesn't take too long to get through, to be honest. But more importantly, it's good to have like a really good cybersecurity foundation. So I'll, I'll kind of answer the question in two parts. Probably to go through that Qualys course, probably you can get through it in like a few weeks, to be honest. But in order to like polish yourself up enough to get a job as a doing vulnerability management, probably take like, um, assuming you don't have like any security background, it'll probably take like at least like a few months to learn the basics up to security plus and then on top of that to learn vulnerability management probably like another two months if you get enough practice in to be honest i'll go into this with a bit more detail but it's funny that this person asked this question because i'm actually building like a another course around vulnerability management rather it's going to be a school community it's not complete yet but maybe you can look in the comments uh or on the you know pinned comment of this video. I might've put something in there if it's done, but basically you should really practice going through not only like scanning vulnerabilities, because just if you don't know what vulnerability management is, it's just basically like the premise of it is a really high level. You have like a scan engine, right? And you scan your assets, you scan your servers and desktops or whatever, and the scanner will find vulner vulnerabilities and then it will tell you them. And then you just go through and fix them. And vulnerabilities could be like out of date software, like out of you know, the windows is not updated or something like this, or there's um, insecure configuration in windows, like the firewall is off, the password complexity is like not up to par, or maybe there's none, no account lockout, like these kind of things. So it's really from a tactical standpoint, it's really easy to do vulnerability management because it's just scan the scan the machines. Uh, deploy automated fixes, scan the machines, deploy fixes. It's like really easy to do, right? The tactical part, but the, the difficulty in vulnerability management and where you can really shine in the interviews is when you acknowledge like the human component of vulnerability management, because that that's the hard part. And that's what makes vulner, vulnerability management hard because there's a lot of different uh, roles in there, right? The person who scans and the person who reports and then like the group of people who fix it, it can't all be the same person. And you kind of have to have some coordination between these people because we can't have the same person scanning and this like the same person fixing and reporting because usually there's some kind of separation of duties in place. And depending on like what part of vulnerability management you're working in, like if you're in governance and you're the one like doing the scanning, you have to like somehow convince you know operations to fix their vulnerabilities or like the server team to fix their stuff because often more often than not like you're you're not their manager like you can't <clears throat> really give them orders to to fix it right you have to make some kind of rapport and you have to you know make their job easier by help maybe providing them a solution or something there's like a lot that goes into vulnerability management so if you go through like the the qualis course um just like go through it and, and learn what you can or whatever about the tactical part of it but when you get to the interview just be prepared to talk about the difficulties of vulnerability management as it pertains to dealing with people and like different personalities because people have to be okay with you scanning their systems and they you, you have to somehow get credentials to do like credentialed scans to to do like um it, i'm getting into like the technical weeds of this a bit but you have to get local admin access to the stuff that you're scanning and that will involve like getting credentials from like those teams like the server team or the network team or whatever and people are like if they don't know how vulnerability management works they're kind of unwilling to to work with you a lot of the time especially if they have the like weird like uh possessive personality where they don't want people like messing with with their stuff even though it's like you know the company's equipment so just be aware of that check out my the course that doesn't exist yet i go into that in depth um, and we go through like the whole like process of building out a vulnerability management plan. And we use like a, an actual 
enterprise platform and everything. It's not even out yet. I, mean, I don't know if it's going to be out when you see this, but yeah, you can probably like to answer your question, like how long does it take? If you if you streamline and do everything like really properly, if you build up to like security plus level knowledge, and then you practice all those like tactical parts of vulnerability management, and then you you know make yourself aware of the human component, you can prob probably honestly get a job in like probably like five months or less, probably less than this. Um, it just depends on your execution and how well, like how optimized your study and everything is. But yeah, if I was like, for example, if I was like coaching a new person and they were doing everything I said and they were like listening to me properly, they could probably get a job in five months, right? Or less, depending on, you know, where they're applying and all, all this stuff. But yeah, I hope this helps. Um, definitely check out the, the new course, which there may not be a link to yet. But yeah, thanks for watching. I hope this helps and we'll see you in the next video.